Yeah, I think um, it's a unique situation and just that we had six new players come in and we're trying to figure out a lot of things. And um, so there's been um, a lot of opportunity for growth, I think, from every you know game we've played and, and obviously the ones we've lost on the road, I think, have um, showed us a lot. We're figuring out um, – you know, how to play together. You know, we feel like we have a lot of talent and we've got to figure out ways to utilize it the best we can. And um, it's a lot of um, understanding of one another and, and, and get just playing together. And I think that's going to come with time and, um, and work. A unique game, obviously, early start, but then you have like 5,000 kids there as well. Uh, your thoughts on that atmosphere? Um, it's always so much fun. You know, I think we started it three years ago and – one, just love the opportunity to get a lot of young kids on Texas Tech's campus and let them be a part of a collegiate basketball game and, and the experience that they'll have um, I think is important. But for us, it provides unbelievable energy and a great environment to play in. So it's definitely a win-win. And, you know, just excited that, you know, the Lubbock area schools will continue to partner with us to, to get that done. I know you had mentioned being a little bit familiar with Jazz Harris, and obviously she's been able to come in and, and – do some damage in, in her first year. What do you anticipate seeing from her tomorrow, and what's your game plan? She's about as athletic as um, a player can get, um, you know, and so I think you, you've got to make sure you're taking care of the basketball. I think just in general against Houston that you're, you know, not playing into their um, style of play. They're going to, you know, they're hectic on defense. They're going to be all over the place, and you've got to, Keep your composure and have some poise, and, um, and make sure you're making good decisions. You know, and and all their players really fit that that mold. I know that it's important to take obviously one game at a time, but when you look at this next stretch of four non-conference home ga non-conference games left here at home, is there anything in particular that you want to accomplish in that last stretch? You know, again, I just think this team is in a unique place that they're really learning a lot about each other. Um, I felt like yesterday we really um, kind of turned over a new leaf in a lot of ways. It's just a, it's just a process. It's part of the journey of trying to figure out how, how you can fit everything together. And so I expect that to continue um, in a positive direction and um, just continue to learn how to play together and, and play at a high level. Obviously, you don't want to point to just one play that necessarily determines the outcome of a game against Arkansas, but that inbounds pass, it looked like she had stepped over the line or it looked like there might have even been five seconds already up. What was kind of the explanation she on did that? Step over the <laughs> no, I don't actually. It's interesting because the film we got cut where I couldn't go back and review. So I don't know. I mean, I, I'll have to look at the TV copy, but the the copy I got, um, it was cut. So um, it was a critical play. I mean, you know, I felt like we were up and pressuring and looking for a turnover, and it's a close game. So. No question. I mean, if that goes our way, that might might give us another opportunity. But there were so many things we needed to do better in that game. We've got to board it better. We've got to finish around the rim. I mean, you look at our shot chart, and you ha you're happy with the shot chart. I mean, you're in the paint, you're at the rim, and um, so many of them just didn't go down. So we've got to we've got to fix that. We've got to be you know have a higher higher level of focus to finish, um, and and then we've got to board it better. So. You know, it's hard to – you can't get down to the end and blame it when there's so many possessions that could have gone in a different direction. Uh, you kind of paraphrasing, but after the game and the post game, you'd mentioned that you guys needed to take a look in the mirror, value winning more than anything else. What, what all did you feel like kind of goes into, what, I guess, what's lacking in some of those games to be able to finish? Um, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of technical things, you know, but I think at the end of the day, it's got to be, I didn't feel like we played as hard as we needed to play. When you're going to go on the road and go into someone's home, you're going to have to, you're going to have to play harder than they do. Um, and I didn't feel like we did that, you know, consistently. And there were too many possessions that they, you know, got multiple opportunities because we weren't getting loose balls. We weren't getting two hands on it. So we've got to figure out that those things are just as important as shooting the basketball when it comes to winning. And, and, and until we figure that out, you know, we're going to continue to give up possessions that should be ours. I guess when you look – really throughout either your starting five or, or players coming off the bench, you have a, a lot of new faces. I mean, did you feel like they've panned out to be everything? And I know we're still early in the season, but do you feel like they've shown everything that you thought that they were before you brought them on campus? 
Absolutely. I mean, I really do. People have asked me so many times this year, what are, who, who surprised you? And, and really, I had very high expectations for all of them. I felt like I knew them, you know, pretty well as, as players. Um, you know, I will say the thing that probably surprised me um, is just Arella's transition as a freshman to the college game. And she did have that extra year at IMG, you know, where she had an opportunity, but she wasn't playing this level of talent. So I think her transition um, is impressive. Is, is Rose as, as talented as a player that you've had since you've been here coaching the Lady Raiders? Yes. You know, I, I've never coached, you know, someone that has the ability to take over a game the way she does um, or distribute it. You know, she's our leading assist maker. I mean, she's involved in most great plays, um, you know, and, and she's a young player and we have a lot of pressure on her, a lot of expectations on her. And we have to remember that she's in her first full season as a college player. So she's learning a lot. We watch film a lot. And, you know, she, she knows she's got to do a great job of getting her teammates involved as well, score the ball and, um, and she can do both, and she's going to continue to to get better, I think, in in a lot of ways. But um, definitely, um, you know, definitely talented, and, and can get a lot done.